Hello, fabulous superstar Taurus. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of March, 2024. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month, without a doubt. Big moose happening in the sky now. Boy, is this a very special time. The 10th of the month features this month's new moon. This new moon takes place in a part of the sky for you that has to do with friendships and group alliances. It has to do with social events as well as gathering with others, whether it is for professional purposes, working together, or things like support groups and wherever it is that you're hoping to connect with others and whatever the intention behind that might be. Now, this new moon represents new opportunities to connect with others. And there's actually some really lovely energy here with this new moon speaking in harmony with Uranus. And that Uranus being in your sign does suggest that, yes, there is a surprise a minute here, but perhaps it's you that's at the forefront of facilitating some lovely surprises at this time. New moons bring with them new people, places, things, situations, and that's the case for you now with new people coming in, whether it's new groups to be a part of, new friendships, or it could just be new ways in which you are connecting with others, perhaps after a period of time. If this energy is anything, it is fun. <laughs> we do have uh, Uranus speaking in harmony with Neptune not too far away from this new moon, it does suggest there's a dreamy quality, a very fun quality as well. If you are into wine, there might be wine flowing here, or there just could be some other sense of a natural high at this time. And if you're gathering with others for spiritual purposes, well, that might be the way in which you are tapping into this energy, uh, feeling a sense of elation, of taking flight and feeling faith in some way. This can also be very powerful for going to a concert or a poetry reading, for example. Um, and wherever it is that you are hoping to feel inspiration, well, whether it is from a friend where you didn't expect it, whether it is through happenstance or whether it is through intention, it just might find you now. Navigating forward, the 25th of the month has not just a full moon, but it is a jacked up full moon. And that is because it is a lunar eclipse. We are going to begin eclipse season before the month is even out. And it is under the light of this lunar eclipse that there can be powerful changes that occur to your daily life in some way. This lunar eclipse can bring with it closures. And it is speaking in supreme harmony with Pluto. It has the potential to transform your circumstances dramatically, in some cases completely, in a way that I think you will absolutely love. Now, the part of the sky this eclipse touches has to do with your daily life. This is your work life. This is also related to uh, an understanding of how well you take care of you. Clients, customers, coworkers are covered here. Now, eclipses, particularly lunar eclipses, bring with them dramatic closures. And I actually think that's going to be a big theme for you because next month, we're going to have a solar eclipse in the sign just before yours. That's a part of the sky that has to do with closure as well. And so this idea of closing karmic ties, ending karmic chapters, I mean, it's only going to amp up in importance for you once we navigate into next month while we are still in eclipse season. So eclipse season begins on the 25th. As I said, clients, customers, coworkers, there could be very dramatic endings, one of these people leaving, but you are able to position yourself to land on top in some way. It could be you that ends up leaving a particular workplace towards something much better that has you feeling much stronger, transformed deeply from the inside out. It could be at this time that you are finding yourself that much more motivated to create positive changes to your daily life. Um, and that could especially play out on the level of health. I think for some, um, it's going to feel as if some health challenge is behind you. Like, you know, things have changed. You're better now. You can put that behind you and you can move forward feeling that much stronger. 
uh, and connected to that sense of feeling grateful for how much you've transformed, especially on a level of a health challenge now starting to feel very quickly in your past. It might also be a time when the people you hire, people like your uh, doctors, your massage therapist, your regular therapist, your um, hairdresser, these types of people are covered here. And yes, those dynamics or those people might be going through changes in their own life. And that in turn could lead to uh, how available they are or not available to you going forward from here. For all that, though, whatever happens with an eclipse, it is faded and it is absolutely part of a higher, more loving vision for your life. If you find that a certain contract, a certain project uh, or a certain role that you played in terms of your work is coming to an end, embrace it. It means that there is better available to you. Perhaps you see it right away and instantly or you'll just need a moment, but it will find you. Now, where it comes to matters of love, um, it is going to be on the 11th of the month that Venus will move into a friendship part of your sky. Uh, And I think this is going to be so welcome because up until that point and coming in from last month, Venus has been at the top of your sky where love and respect become intimately tied. However, Venus moving into a friendship part of the sky changes the vibe for you so much because it becomes about love and friendship being intimately tied. For those of you open to meeting someone new, it is either with a friend or through a friend that you're able to make easy connections with other people now. I would especially watch what's happening in the last week of the month because it is there that during the last week of the month, um, that Venus will connect in harmony with Jupiter and Uranus in your sign. And this is energy of happiness and hope and lovely surprises. And the ways in which love and friendship and love breaching together can surprise you, I think is part of the delight of that time. For those of you just starting to date someone, do you really feel like this person can be a friend to you or not? Do you feel that genuine sense of kinship there? It is one thing to look at the romance. It's one thing to look at the chemistry, but it's another thing to look at that sense of really feeling like you could hang out with this person and be with this person. That's what companionship is. Uh, Where it is that you feel that could be here, it'll allow love to grow that much more. But if that isn't the case, it's through support from your friends that you will find ways to go a different way. And for those of you in an established bond, well, look, the overwhelming majority of people in established bonds, um, I think the Torians out there are going to find this rekindling of the friendship between you two. You're spending time together. You're hanging out more. That becomes more important with some lovely surprises taking place in the last week of the month. However, that very small percentage of Torians, if you have felt for a while that maybe you're not in the right relationship for you, you're able to recognize that, you're able to see that, and that ends up being part of the motivation, the inspiration, inviting you to go a different way. And it is your friends that remind you that you are worthy of whatever happiness or change you're feeling yourself ready for. What I love about this month for you, there's so much here. It's a powerful and meaningful astrological moment. I am going to say, um, I do think the new moon energy that takes place um, at the early part of the month on the 10th, that is really big news. Um, that energy, speaking in harmony with Uranus in your sign, uh, but also meeting Neptune uh, is an energy that's dreamy, it's hopeful, but it's also healing. And your friends now are a force of healing in your life. Allow yourself to connect with others, whether those are well-established and rooted bonds or whether it is that these are reunions happening now. It is really in sharing your journey that you feel that much more illuminated with wisdom and a real sense of spiritual optimism, reminding you of all that's good now and all that's great that could possibly be. 
Well, thank you so much for watching. Have you checked out NadiaShahSuperstars.com? It is in that superstar space that you can get a video like this each and every week for each and every sign for as low as just $3 a month with choose your membership rate. These are exclusive, expanded horoscopes and higher tiers get you things like all access passes to Synchronicity University events, consultations with me and so much more, a live exclusive monthly event for all superstars and so much more. All of this in the superstar space at NadiaShawSuperstars.com. Links are in the description below. Thank you again for watching. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.